Here's a delightful old uh, Eagle brand professional uh, button accordion. This is a three stop, uh, one row button accordion in the key of D. Uh, and uh, it has uh, steel reeds on zinc reed plates. Uh, it has three stops. It has two uh, middle reeds and a high uh, set of reeds. And I've done uh, extensive restoration on this. This is for my friend Phil Madeira. And let's see, I first thing I did there was uh, one of these uh, return springs was broken. Uh, and I was able to disassemble it enough to get that spring out and made a new, a new spring to fit in there. And what else? So it had uh, the bellows gasket, which was an old string. <laughs> they used to use just string for gasket. Uh, so I've taken that out and replaced it with the modern closed uh, cell uh, foam. So it's a, a much tighter seal now. And I did find a couple of these uh, mitered uh, joints in the wood had opened up. I got pictures of some of this stuff. So I, uh, I glued them together to make sure it was structurally sound. Um, as is very common for these old instruments, uh, all the uh, original leather uh, valves on the reeds were curled and non-functioning. I got a picture of that. So I, I took them all off, all the reed plates off, all the leather valves off, cleaned the, the reeds, uh, and put modern plastic valves uh, in their place. Uh, and then, of course, we have to re-wax it uh, back in position. This has uh, three stops, so there's two uh, flat mounted sets of reeds and then one vertical uh, uh, reed block, uh, non-removable. So have to, all that has, has to be done, uh, uh, you know, right in the box. No, nothing is, comes out. So what else did I do? I did the, uh, I repadded uh, the treble side. You can sort of see it. it's, it's nice soft uh, goat skin with uh, felt backing on there and also on the spoons in this case they're, they're uh, red I think I have pictures of uh, before and after on those uh, pretty standard this uh, two spoon bass <laughs> chords uh, the it had like I said it has two middle uh, reeds and one set of high reeds well this is the key of D so the high, the high octave reeds in the key of D are tiny. The, the reed plate is this long, so the reed is uh, not much more than 5 sixteenths of an inch. Very, very tiny. Uh, and those are always uh, challenging to get them speaking properly, but I did. I opened up the, uh, the, uh, an air relief uh, channel in two of the very highest ones, but I've got them to be working fine. I'll go through the notes soon. Um, what else? Um, I did uh, lubricate these stops so they work nicely now. I use a dry powdered lubricant for that, so that's just how they should work. Move easily and st but stay in position so they don't drop when you're playing them. Uh, I did have to, uh, the whole instrument came to me, it was tuned at around A435, which is low versus the modern A440, so I shifted the whole instrument up. But I've maintained that uh, older, nice uh, uh, tuning where it was, uh, it's much closer to just temperament versus uh, equal temperament. Uh, and I often do that uh, on a one rope. Since this will always be played in the key of D, you can use the uh, um, uh, just temperament versus a piano accordion or a, a multi-row, uh, multi-key accordion where you might be cross-rowing. So you really ha have to use equal temperament on that. So, um, so, but that gives it a very nice, uh, rich sound. Of course, the Cajun style instruments uh, are often tuned that way. And uh, so I did tune it with uh, one set of middle reeds and the high reeds in, uh, in right on pitch. So full uh, pre pure octave. Let me go through the shipping. Set 
set of uh, reeds, uh, of the middle reed, tuned an octave higher. <laughs> third set which is another uh, another middle reed but now it's tuned slightly sharp so it gives you a little more uh, tremolo a very mild tremolo um, you can hear that the uh, just temporal when, when you play a chord on that so it just has uh, you know two spoons plus an air air button over here and uh, just like the right side, I, took, I, sh I flattened the third on the chord. Nice growly sound. custom made some uh, shoulder strap brackets. Uh, it was a, a challenge to fit. You can see these uh, concave grooves uh, right where you want to add that bracket. So I custom uh, bent some, uh, made some brackets to fit right down in those valleys there and they turned out uh, pretty nice. Eagle brand, professional button accordion in the key of D, three voice, MMH, heading back to my friend Phil. <laughs>